Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020, and the propaganda is just beginning. It's just incredible to me, honestly. So uh, we just got a GDP number better than expected. Uh, yeah, our economy apparently is, is doing really well right now. Understand what you're seeing. This is fake news. I've covered this before. We're in a propaganda war with China and others now. Uh, but mostly China. So, uh, again, they're doing the same thing to us. We have to propagandize. Uh, but this is just a big lie to the people. We are in economic freefall. There is no sign of recovery. It's only getting worse and will continue to get worse as the stock market goes higher. So, when I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm having a cup of coffee. And, you know, the number flashes across the screen. I'm watching Bloomberg. I almost laughed and spit my coffee all over the place. That's really the truth. Absolute total propaganda, and you know that. It's it's laughable. It, it really is. Anyway, uh, so let's move forward. Right now, stock futures are, are flat to slightly negative. We'll see how this day progresses. Um, we got the dollar right now slightly stronger. We got the 10-year yield, 0.92. Crude oil is lower. Uh, silver is slightly lower. Gold is has a fractional gain right now. Okay, lovely. Let's talk about cryptocurrencies a little bit. Bitcoin still over 23,000. Ripple is taking a little bit of a hit right now. It's down about 9%. In my opinion, it's a buying opportunity. I'm going to keep saying it. Uh, and I'm going to keep getting beat up by some of you who keep telling me I'm wrong on cryptos. And <laughs> guess what? I haven't been wrong yet. So yeah, you, you can keep telling me I'm wrong. It's just, that's another laughable thing. All right, so anyway, uh, we got this uh, this stimulus package. It was finally, you know, voted on and passed by Congress. It's actually not $900 billion, It's slightly lower. Uh, that $600 check that I guess some of you are counting on is apparently coming soon, although there's a lot of disappointment. Um, this was being reported yesterday. People are hurting here in this country, and they were expecting more. Let, let me let you in on a little secret here. This is just the first installment, like I've explained to you forever. More, more debt is coming down the pike, more stimulus is coming, more checks for everyone is coming. But but no, our economy is stronger. Yeah, but the GDP number was better than expected today, of course. Again, look, you can't make it up. It's impossible to freaking do. So, that's 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 it. Anyway, so in summary, real quick, uh, more garbage, more propaganda, literally, uh, fake news, a market that is uh, you know, going to start off slightly weak. Uh, but again, keep your eye on the ten-year yield. Okay, you want to know where the market's going to go? Watch that ten-year yield. Uh, no sign whatsoever of anything going on in the debt market, and as we all know, the stock market has become a derivative of the debt market. So if the debt market continues to inflate, henceforth, the stock market will do the same thing, continue to bet against the debt, become your own central bank, buy any dips with regard to cryptocurrencies. This is my take on it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I will be buying any dip in this market as well because the market is going not just higher, but much higher. I think you all know that. All right, look, uh, that's it pretty much. Uh, let's keep our eye on these things today. And I will see you and all of you at the end of the day. It's going to be just lovely.